Welcome to the first demonstration of ATM terminal design by using fingerprint module and GSM. So in this project we have interfaced the R307 fingerprint module and A9 GSM module along with LCD display and 4x4 matrix keypad to pick 16F uh, A77, uh, A77 microcontroller and in this microcontroller uh, two control buttons are interfaced to the system these two control buttons are used to format and enroll the fingerprints right the above button is the format purpose and below button is the enrolling purpose e for enrolling f for format so then uh, we can reset the system to do that one will uh, show you the process so let me explain in the total project execution steps so whenever the user uh, plays his finger the person should have a registration already and then he, uh, the system will ask for the password when he enter the password like uh, OTP uh, like uh, ATM pin so if he enter that uh, three times consecutive wrong times wrong passwords then the system will send the message to the register phone number that phone number in our project is uh, like uh, bank authorities so it will send the message to the respective number like for example I was a fingerprint one so I will place the finger then it will ask for the password I enter the password three times wrong then it will block my account and it will inform to the authorities like so called user uh, account has been blocked and then in order to unblock again we need to reset the system that was done by the authorities only so the so called status continuously displayed on the LCD screen so coming to the interfacing connections we have interface D0 D1 to these two control buttons and A0 A1 for this uh, fingerprint module and A22 E3 sorry E2 A22 E3 pins connected to the LCD module B0 to B7 for the keypad and C6 C7 for our GSM module and D2 is for the buzzer so whenever we enter the wrong time password every time the buzzer uh, beeps as from the by microcontroller and now uh, coming to the power supply module we are providing 5 volts output from this adapter to the system so when we provide the 5 volts adapter it start reading input from the inputs and controlling the output modules so on this motherboard uh, other than the microcontroller remaining two important components one is the reset switch so which will place the major role in our project and another is the crystal oscillator which will provide the 20 megahertz of clock frequency to the microcontroller the main purpose of the oscillator is so we have provided a set of instructions so each instruction need one pulse so microcontroller needed around uh, we are providing around 20 megahertz of clock pulses per second so that controller is executing 20 mega instructions per second and reset button is in order to format and enroll switching between these two and to execute the main project then we need to reset the system so let me show you initially how to format that so when we switch on the gate hold this reset switch that means hold this F initially to format the fingerprint module hold this F button and restart hold it till the data erased and please restart right now data erased please restart so now you can release this and then to enroll press E button and restart so please place the finger when you saw this message now you can release this switch so place the fingers you can store up to five members in this project so till it is store the uh, show the store ID right store at 01 till it shows that you need to place the finger like that only right store it too so when it shows the address then only you can remove the finger so now once completion of this registration process now again restart and now no need to press any button as the system will enter into the execution process right so now if i place my finger so my user id is 2 i ask for the password so user 1 password is going to be the 1234 user 2 password is 2345 user 3 password is 3456 like that so we have showed the four users so let me enter the correct password 1 2 3 4 so you have entered sorry, user 2 sorry user 2 is through 2 3 4 5 right access granted so I can go with my transaction 1 next place the finger again so let me enter the wrong password so 
so consecutively three wrong passwords got the message so user 2 account has been blocked so like the same thing for the user 1 also so user 1 password is 1 2 3 4 granted one So once you place the finger, the system connected to your user 1 account. Right. We got the message. So while execution, if you didn't get the message, the only thing is we should check out the signal to our SIM card which we inserted. So actually before switching on the keys, we need to insert a valid SIM card into this micro SIM card and it should have the SMS balance or main balance. Mainly thing is you should not insert a Geo SIM card. We should use only Airtel for better execution. So after inserting the SIM card, so we will go with the format and enrolling process. So meanwhile the system will get the say, uh, signal otherwise. So just hold this. See I am just offing the system and on it. So if you directly execution without going the format and enrolling one, so hold the switch. Okay. So wait for 12 seconds, 12 to 15 seconds, and after that you can just remove this, remove this uh, restart button. Right. So now the system is uh, trying to get the signal, and if you uh, want to double confirmation, you can make a call to the SIM card inserted. Then you'll get the ring. If you didn't get the ring or like uh, switch off and all, then you can restart the system again, and you can switch out the parts. Yes,